The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Last season, we met a woman struggling with a condition so painful and so embarrassing, she asked us to conceal her identity. Here's a look back. I'm 60 years old, and I have a prolapsed uterus. It's the size of a large pear. It makes it hard for me to urinate and also walk. What you're describing sounds like pelvic organ prolapse, and it impacts over three million women in the United States alone. The uterus can actually be seen coming out of the vaginal opening, and it can really impact their daily life. Anita, we reached out to Dr. Mickey Karam, the director of the gynecological surgery at the Roxbury Institute right here in Beverly Hills, and he's offered to see you and treat your problem at no cost to you. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. After the show, Anita met with urogynecologist and pelvic surgeon Dr. Mickey Karam for an exam. But could she be helped? When I was on the doctors, I hid behind the screen. I was embarrassed until the doctors told me that I'm not the only one. Thanks to them, I don't feel so alone anymore. Hi, how Hello. are you? Today? I want to move on and try and get it fixed. Hi, Anita. Hello, how are doctor. You? I understand you're having a lot of problems with what we call prolapse. It's literally out there. We're going to just go next door here and, and take a look at things. Okay, well, you weren't kidding. So she has um, what we call a complete prosodentia. The uterus is completely outside the, the vagina, and the vaginal canal has turned inside out. This is very fixable, and I think we can treat this successfully without any mesh. We're gonna get you fixed, I promise. Oh, thank you. Okay? It's gonna be such a relief Then you guys made it look like there would be a light at the end of the tunnel. Well, thank you. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. Today's the day. I am so excited. I'm ready for it. She has a protrusion of tissue that goes about eight, nine, ten inches outside the opening. So our goal today, we're going to remove her uterus, and then I'll have to basically start what we call a, a complete vaginal reconstruction and a suspension of the vaginal bulb. Hopefully we'll get Anita's quality of life back. Dr. Mickey Karam joins us today. Welcome. So tell us, how, how was Anita's case unique? So prolapse, as was alluded to, is, is a very common condition. The severity of the prolapse that Anita had was the most advanced type of prolapse that we, we, we ever see. And not only was the uterus completely hanging out, the bladder was completely averted, wow. and the lower part of the bowel was completely averted. So, Beyond the, the aspects of walking, the functional derangements about going to the bathroom, as she mentioned, you know, both, both ends, and, and obviously complete loss of, of any potential at having a functional vagina or having any type of intimacy. And even though it was an extreme case, I heard you say you were able to do the repair without using mesh, which is a plus. So I just think for some viewers, that's nice to hear. Um, if their doctor says, oh, I want to use mesh, just to ask if it can be done without, if it's appropriate. Sure, and, and we were able to do it with native tissue, as we say, using her own tissue and uh, allowing that healing process and scarification to come in naturally. A big plus. Well, Anita's prolapse made it difficult for her to even walk. Well, I have good news. That's not the case anymore. Anita, come on out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Absolutely. Well, yeah. you've yeah, come a long way from what we call our medical confessional there. I can where... cross my legs. You... <laughs> <laughs> Let's celebrate that. I couldn't before. Yeah, I couldn't. You know, so, you know, like we said in the tape, uterine prolapse impacts more than three million women in the United States alone. And we know that it can be due to a number of causes, for example, childbirth, 
obesity, chronic coughing, menopause, or just the aging process overall. And women can have a number of symptoms. Sometimes the symptoms are mild. You'll just feel a little pelvic pressure. You may have problems with urination or defecation, but sometimes the symptoms can be really severe. And we talk about the physical aspects of it, but there's also an emotional component to it. It can really take over a woman's life and I don't think we can minimize how emotional it can be because we have a beautiful, otherwise healthy young woman sitting before us and it totally took over her life.